for me. And we lost Josh. If I could, if I could do it over again, I would go after. I would have chosen for that one girl to die. I don't know. Maybe that's too harsh. I mean, she's not bad. I don't dislike her or anything, but I just like Josh more as a character. So we're back. Previously on Until Dawn. Again, I love the TV aspect of it. And that's what happened to that one girl. The idiot. None of them nice. What it? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Jessica! Just why? Just oh why? Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Oh yeah, we left with Mike here. We're six hours until dawn. So each chapter is an hour going on. That's not good. That's really not good. Mike at the sanatorium grounds. At least I think every chapter is in, uh, an hour. I forgot to upload the Let's go close the to last week's episode, so I'm gonna try and remember to do that as soon as this broadcast ends, and then soon after I'm gonna put this one up as well. Again, I'm gonna try to remember to do that as fast as I can. So. Let's check his stats again. So I made him very brave, but he's not very honest or charitable. So basically, he's driven by revenge, I guess? Dri revenge, curiosity. Uh, Matt, uh, above average is Sam. Well, not anymore. Does he have his gun with him? It looks like he doesn't have his gun with him. That's not smart. I'm just checking to see if there's any extra stuff around here, but I suppose not. Something this way? Oh, there is. It's a totem, yeah. A fortune totem. Okay, so this is our first one of these. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. Okay, so that was good fortune. Okay, so 
Okay, let's replay that again. I kind of missed that. Okay, so I'm guessing we're trying to find that door. Or rather, that's, that's the right door. So this might be a wrong door. Don't know. Try to find out. to thank for that. Let's not go in there just yet. Um, let's see if we can find that door. Saw the. Wait, was there? Was there footprints in the, in the thing? Let me check. Um. No. It was definitely a door with bars. See if going around here works. Okay, I guess not. Well, looks like we're gonna go through that event. If I miss that door, I can say is, oh well, I tried. Why don't you have a gun? Wait a minute. Okay, let me go back over here real fast. Okay, looks like there might be a door over there, so. to even move that. Oh, I see. And we got another totem. And that's not good. Let's see here. I lost him. Potential loss of a friend. I don't know what to make of that one. Oh, 
I can say is that'd be a gruesome death. Okay, so that'll get him up there. But what else is down here? So that's why I need to get him up there. All right. Let's go get him up. for how. Well, it's not the basement. So we need to get up into the rafters, I guess. Well, let's go to the admin. Look at that. too fast. A batch of 30 clocking in cards from the mine locked away in, the, in a safe. This means there were 30 miners trapped in the mine. Let's 
So of course that's talking about the case between Josh's family and the janitor. I think, anyway. That's about how I've managed to figure out so far. If this camera is smashed, it looks like someone did this on purpose. go down there just yet. Stay on this floor. Hmm. And one of those guys actually tried to bite me. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although some had exhibited reintegration problems. Update the report mentions 12 miners, but there were 30 clocking in cars retrieved from the mine. There is no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so that's all that text. Um, let's hear. I'm just gonna leave this on here for a couple seconds. And you can pause uh, the video if it's on YouTube. Whenever this is on YouTube, you can pause this and look at that. So that's it there. Oh, Mike's finding a whole lot of clues. must be the camera mentioned in the newspaper article. Someone really didn't want these pictures getting out. So it was in the article. The newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued miners. The reporter had his camera confiscated. Okay, so again, there we go. probably come back to watch these portions just so I can get a better idea of the clues. Because I always like trying to find out who the whole who done it thing before the before the characters of the the game or TV show do. I haven't always had very, very good luck with figuring out who exactly.
Raven. Not good. Oh shit. Gross. Take it. At least you have the good sense to at least take that. Mm, probably have to go back to that. It's not a good sign. A chair with leather straps to restrain the patient. There's blood on it. Looks like it was used as part of the spray. It looks like it might have been used recently. Mike's finding a whole lot of clues here. I actually didn't quite expect him to be the one to really find a whole lot. Telegram warning about press interests in survivors brought to the sanitarium. The mine owners were trying to cover something up. Huh. Twelve survivors received a sanitarium. Showing signs of mental trauma may need contained. Local press now have scent of blood. That's there. I know it's there, but does he know it's there? And that's... That's just creepy. I believe that's a fake hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this what he was feeding them? I 
guess you have to, man. You have to. Oh shit. 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 Make oh, it shit. quick. Just make it quick. Your fingers are... Okay, he's become much braver. Why? I don't know. That should make him... Should have made him a bit smarter. And a bit less curious, but... Figured human head suspended in from in formaldehyde. I suppose if you have to. Okay, let's check this out. Hey, that could be the key card. Hastily written death certificate, dated 24th February 1952, describes the body as partially eaten. Name deceased, Sarah Smith. Date of death, February 24th, 1952. I hereby survive that I attended deceased. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen. Interdominal. Injuries, subsequent blood loss. I believe that's how Jesse died. Death was due to external causes, violence, uh, feeling also the following. On, oh, the reverse side. Uh, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. So 
Uh, we're finding a whole lot of clues here in this room. Mortuary tag. The name on it reads Nicholas Bowen. Description attack by inmate, fatal laceration of throat. It's interesting how that little pass works. This is a quaint little psycho crib. Okay, so he went to the chapel office. key card, so... This shouldn't be an issue. So did, did I do nothing there by by mistake? So what have we here? <laughs> you should have brought that rifle, dude. as well. with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. Looks like the work of an obsessive mind. Well, this guy might be a bit of a killer, but I think he's actually trying to trying to stop something. Let's 
so I'm sure that uh, this guy, as well as the supernatural being that I think that killed Jesse, uh, are definitely not the same. One cigar box, only a single cigar is left. That's a distinctive, distinctive brand label. And the clue doesn't really say the, what the brand is. Give the dog a bone. Yeah. Easy, boy. Easy. That's a good boy. That's right. Okay, you're a little bit more charitable. As you probably should be. Might be the only thing that keeps you alive. I've already gone, gone the cigar. Okay, so definitely good, definitely good thing we got that one. Do not light, uh, do not light your uh, lighter. That'll get you killed. Rescued after a cave-in, dated 1952. The plaque says that all 12 miners survived. Update, there were 30 clocking in cards from the mine. The Miracle Men, the successful rescue of all 12. Okay, so, only 12 were thought to be there or even documented. 
However, the of course the clocker, clock and check, the checking clock, the clock cards, clock cards say differently. There's over a dozen more left. So what happened to those people? So it's a very good thing we got that death tone, because that might just keep Mike alive. mastermind this situation. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. an axe? Oh. Duh. It's in the door. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If I start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Um... Help Emily through, or the smash the door. Kind of a hard choice here. Except, I think he's someone who wants to prove himself. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna just do it. Oh. Damn. 
fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, though, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Okay, I'm back. Alright, let's go back to that one clue. Um, let's see here. Updated. According to the telegram, the owners were trying to cover this up. So the mine danger map. And let's see here. Update. The photograph only showed... 12 survivors. Yeah, we know that. The, so this is on the Mystery Man. These are updated. Update. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. Oh yeah, so that was at the beginning. Update. The label is the same as the cigar box found at the sanitarium. According to the book, words off evil. An axe stuck into the door of the cable car. Definitely wasn't there before. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. Look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Very friendly. Oh, unfollow. <sighs> No cable car. So oh, yeah. Back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? What? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? It should. Probably, Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. I agree with that. Sounds like a smart thing to do. Use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. <sighs> rules like those are gonna get you killed in a story like this.
everybody. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. How noble of you. Okay. Okay. Easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Only thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. There's a totem. Biden's totem. So wait. So we need to find a cabinet with that. That flare gun. That is probably going to be at the fire tower. Safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Still, I'm a little surprised I haven't seen any pillars of fire recently. tonight. Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. See you like classical music. He 
He's apparently allowing you to live. Hello? Be grateful. He probably likes your music. Guys? What are you doing out there? You creepy. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay. My clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that one actually did, uh, I, that one actually did freak me out a little bit. Clocks, clocks are creepy. After a late night, they can Chris? be really creepy. Mike, Emily, this is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. <laughs> Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? So, Twin Clue, an award for a movie that Josh, Josh's dad directed when our best horror film 2009. Blood Monastery. You had enough? Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Towel it is then. Yeah, I suspect so. That's not good. I saw that balloon. Trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Here, wait, let me go back into that room.
figured. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Yeah. I already saw that. Yeah. Please don't tell me they're captured. Hey! Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? Why are you looking at that? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching?
the Psychopath and Ice Cream 2 trophy. Or no, just uh, Scream no, 2. No, that was exciting, wasn't it? Well done. The game seems to be going very well. Yes. Oh, the good work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Hey, look! Fire tower. <laughs> Matt, what is that? Uh, I don't know. That is just still so weird. Chapter 6, Vengeance, 5 hours until dawn. What are you gonna do? Stay calm. Stay calm. Relax. They're just deer. They just wanna check us out as well. No, 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 Matt. They're gonna hurt us. That's not the kind of calm I really meant. Are they trying to help? Just walk slow. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, I think they're actually trying to help. The reason why I think that is because of the the symbol. The symbol that was on the door, the one that wards away evil. I think that was more that wasn't just a in inhuman skull. I think that was if a, we a do deer manage skull. To get someone on the radio, we will. then we tell them we need help. What do we do while we wait? We go back to the lodge and get everyone else. Oh god, not the lodge. We should stay here in case whoever it is needs to get back in touch with us. Let's get that radio working first. So we're Emily, relationship with Matt has gone up. There's the fire tower. Oh, that's a good sign. I can't see. What is that? It's just a security light. Motion sensor, probably. That makes sense. Let's get this little totem here. The guidance totem. So it looks like he's about ready to, looks like Chris about ready to take his life, but then he stops. So he shouldn't do that. 
I mean, I don't know what kind of situation he's gonna be, he's gonna be put in, but he's already been put through one horrible one. He might be put through another. Okay, I have a question. Why would you leave the the axe there? Why is it so windy all of a sudden? We're almost inside. Poster, missing person. Poster. Have you seen this person? I'm missing. And from tonight, their disappearance is starting to make more sense. Yeah. yeah. Yes, a flare. Here we go. 
Give the flare gun to Matt. Let's get off. I'll get some of the tension. Hopefully someone who's not a psychopath. Yeah. So, and was that the right thing to do? Yes, it was. So glad I did that. that axe, if I remember correctly. Not a smart idea.
lights. Damn it! Trying to save her, gonna kill him. It's like whenever you try and save someone in this game. Uh, you, they just end up dying. Is that what it is? Unsafe. Keep out. to go through. Finding Sam. Look 
with this? Chris, what happened here? I'm no forensics expert, but it looks like it was thrown. Yeah, you're right. You know, I wonder, back when Matt uh, put the, the axe down, I actually wonder if I could have just... Uh, this is so effed up. It makes me wonder if I could have just gone back down and get the axe. Then none of that would have happened. <laughs> Did I see what? That, Chris, that! What that was that? It was like, it was like a see-through shape, like a goat. Oh, boy. I'm serious. Why don't you believe me? I said I saw it. Doesn't that count for anything? We've been through hell tonight, okay? Your mind is fried. My mind is fried. I, I don't even trust what I've been seeing. No, you are wrong. I saw it, and I am sure, Chris. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe you did see something. Let's just, let's just keep our heads. Are we going crazy down here? It, it's, it's the only place left Sam could be, Ash. I wish we could just go find everyone else and. What if Sam needs us? What if she's in trouble? Oh God. <laughs> let's go. Status update for Ashley. Aussie up, romance down, relationship with Chris is up. fix around here. Oh, 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 you gotta be kidding. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh my god, that scared me. You, you knocked into it, right? I mean, you knocked into it? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. How did everything get so freaky around here? Doors slamming and candles lighting it out of nowhere and that specter or whatever Ashley, it was. I, I, I think you're kind of ignoring what's really happening here. But don't tell me. I'm not imagining things. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I saw things too. I, I, I saw what happened to Josh in the shed. You know, that, that's, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, Chris, I know. I know. You know what I'm really worried about? Okay, I'm worried about Sam. What, what, what's happened to her? If there's some maniac out here, then she could be dead too. Don't say that, please, Chris. Chris is a dramatic tool. Josh. He's dramatic, yeah. But compared to most of the other characters on here, I like him probably the most. 
seance. I don't know, maybe. They did it because ghosts don't exist, okay? Oh, okay, who was talking to us at the seance, Chris? I don't know. The atmosphere here is actually a bit creepy. Much more than I thought. Ah, here you go. Oh my god! There! Look there, Chris! You can't tell me you didn't see that! Uh, see? That's uh You do see yeah, it! I don't know. I I I I just this is fucking crazy. Chris, it's showing us the way. Question is, is it a good way or bad? Because as far, nothing good has, has actually happened. I feel like the ghost wanted me to see this. What? What? Whoa, 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 what is going on? Oh, God, it's, it's like... It's not like anything. That's us. Hiding, waiting for hand. Last year. But it's it's so accurate. I mean, that's exactly where I was sitting, and that's where Matt was. This was set up by someone who was there. Or someone, or something that was watching us. Maybe it's a warning. I think someone, I think someone put this here to mess with us. No, it has to be the ghost. It's trying to tell us the maniac killed Hannah and Matt. I think it's this bastard that he's, he's here trying to fuck with our heads. Why would he set this yeah. all up, Chris? Yeah, this is one of the freakiest stuff I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, that was freaky. It's it's Hannah's diary. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Mom finally agreed. The invitations are out. The party's gonna happen. I hate that I have to wait. Yes, uh, so she, she was the one with the crushed mic. Everyone being together here on the mountain is gonna be so awesome. Cozy fires and hot tubs and OMG, Mike, I am so psyched to spend some time with him. I can't read this. It's so sad, Chris.
so let's see here what that was. Ashley took the scissors. Light bulb catalog originally for RP type projectors. So there, there's a theater in there, so there's a light bulb. I don't know what that really has to do with much of anything other than that, but. Just when you think it can't get any creepier. Oh! Ugh. Jeez! Again with the creepy dolls. take any more of this yeah I'm, uh, I'm about at my limit here too all I wanted to do was forget last year ever happened and to be honest I'm not sure what Hannah thought she was doing yeah well you know how it is when you're crushing pretty hard on somebody great so you're basically saying that we put a vulnerable friend in a terrible situation and essentially caused her to run away and never to be heard from again It was you. Don't you think you would have run away? I mean, who likes being made fun of? <laughs> People don't make fun of me. To your face. What? Chris, we made her look so stupid in front of all of her friends and the guy she liked. I can't imagine doing anything worse to somebody. and she never takes this thing off. You gotta find her. Fast. Hey. These. Fake newspapers. Fake? Why would anyone make fake newspapers? <laughs> That's... of old newspapers with a story about Blackwood Pines, but the date it posted suggests they were printed recently. Hmm. Too, but if Sam's down there all alone with a maniac and we leave, we're basically killing her ourselves. <laughs> As long as you got mine. 
I do. Huh. So a romance is budding between these two. Yeah, so let's get this over with, I guess. Okay. More charitable, charitable, less brave, but more romantic. She's apparently falling for Chris. I'm gonna assume that's what that meant. Chris, I'm getting a really weird feeling from all this. What do you mean? Well, I just, I can't shake the feeling that those fake newspapers have something to do with the guy who killed Josh. Wait, wait, like, like what? Like it's a setup or something? Yeah, but I mean, how? It's just like, it almost makes sense, but it just feels like we're missing something. He's not scared he's gonna kill you? Uh, I don't think Chris is the killer. Actually, I, I, they're none of them are the killer, I don't think. Huh. Huh. Batteries and timers. Okay, here's another creepy thing. Boy, this just gets weirder and weirder. Recently gutted. and chains. Bloody chains and hooks. This is like quick from the house. Of course it is. Oh boy. You think all this stuff is, is his? Unless the Washingtons were into some freaky shit in their spare time, then yeah, probably. Us. 
Photos of friends. It was taken with a tele telephoto lens. The psycho has been watching for a long time. I mean, what is this, like a fucking hit list? Christ. From the looks of it, yeah. Chris went down there. Hello? Oh my god. I, I guess he came back real quick. Chris, it's from last year. Uh, this is a little, this is a little uncomfortable, huh? She's here. I've never seen this video. She's just so. So what? She's so excited. And alive. She has no idea. Oh jeez. Oh my God. Wow. I forgot you were such a willful participant. This is horrible. Couldn't feel worse. Looks like you were enjoying yourself. That's the worst part, isn't it? We were just playing a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Yeah. I never want to see this video ever again. Oh. Slow down, okay? I can't handle this. Ghosts and these videos and everything just, just flying Just calm down. Around. Listen to me for a what? second. What? Calm down? Why should I calm down? Because I am freaking this out This has right got to be someone messing with us. What? Think about it. Ghosts don't hook up video cameras. They don't play games. Then who would set this all up? Seriously, I'm asking. I don't know. Maybe the same person who tied you up and killed Josh? Yeah, right. The same person who might have Sam right now. Maybe you're right. I wish I wasn't. Crap. Look at that. Blood? Might be Sam's. Alright, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, I got it, but oh damn, this thing is heavy. Be careful. You gotta come through, Ash. I, I can't hold it. Oh, come on! Chris! Wait, to what? I think I just saw Sam over there. Right, Ash, are you sure? I don't know, but come on, I think we should check it out. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure whoever's bleeding came through here, okay? So we really gotta get moving, like now. Follow Chris. Yeah, that's... 
Yes, those are Sam's clothes. That's just... Sick. I'd say that's just sick. So the psycho has been down here, for sure. Do you think he's still down here? I hope not. Why is this thing even here? Million dollar question. Apparently, you can't look through the wall. So that doesn't even make sense. She dead? Sam! Chris, is she dead? Holy shit, holy shit! No, she's, not, she's, not, no, she's, she's alive. How do you know? She's still breathing. What the hell is wrong? She's been knocked out. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. We've got to get her out of here. Oh, oh shit! spent with you was the only thing I ever wanted to do with my time. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? I'm sorry. I, I should have told you how I felt. Chris. Actually, no. I swear when we get out of this. Oh, God! No. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I will let you die. Hello there, my special little subjects. So oh, shit. Here, Chris. Don't be scared. Oh, you should be, Ash. Because here's the twist. Chris has made one fatal choice already today. And now, you must make another. Chris, you can take that gun in front of you and shoot Ashley. Or you can shoot yourself. Whoever is left can live. The choice is yours. <laughs> Don't be so silly, Chris. Let me choose this time. Let me choose to save you. If 
I do one last thing in my life, let me do this! Chris, please! Oh, oh God. No! to play God in these people's life. What makes you so special then? Huh? You're sick! You're a sick fuck! Now what the hell have you done for them? Huh? What the hell have you done to them? Psycho. Hmm. Okay. Wow, this is weird. Okay, I'm I'm back. Uh, I just pressed a wrong button. I confused myself for a second, but anyway, where uh, we made it to a new episode of Until Dawn, but for now it's time to it's time for us to leave for today. So be, come back to me next week, and we'll see what happens between Chris and Ashley, who will live. Who will die? Hopefully neither of those two or Sam. I was actually kind of rooting for Matt to live too, but well, can't always get what you want. So I'm gonna have the episode from last week up as soon as I possibly can. I'm gonna try and get down upload tonight. And I'm gonna try and get this episode uploaded tomorrow if I can if I can remember it. So I'm gonna leave. So it's time to leave here. Have a good night. Stay cool.